Hello, welcome to another one of my rants. So, one of the issues that I have um, with a lot of studios out there is they will have a belt promotion every three months and they have some absurd number of belts, like 13. Um, there's really no need for it. Why are, you, why are you testing every three months? It's nothing but a money racket. That's the simple fact of the matter. It's a money racket. Um, one of the things that I have seen with that is, you know, they'll test every three months and they'll learn a new kata, for example, during that. And so, you know, part of their testing requirements say, well, you need to know this new kata and you need to learn a new kick and, and this, that, and the other. But knowing these things and being proficient at them are two very separate, very different things, um, which is kind of why I, I don't do it that way myself personally. Um, one of the big things that I have an issue with is if I just taught this to you, you're not going to be perfectly proficient with it in a three month time stand. It's not happening. Six months, maybe, maybe you're getting good at it. A year, now we're talking. That's much better. You're going to be much more knowledgeable at it. You're going to be much better at uh, performing it, um, whether it's a dry drill or whether it's using it application wise. Just because you know something doesn't mean you actually understand it. Just because you know something doesn't mean you understand how to apply it. Um, and that's one of my big problems with these things. So back in, in West Virginia, where I'm from, I went to a, um, a studio and I would visit them every summer in between college uh, semesters. And they did this. They would have these tests every three months and it was ridiculous it was absolutely ridiculous half the time students didn't even have their uniforms but they had their second or third belt and you know i would sit here and i would watch these individuals and you know this kid over here he might understand the, the single kick really really well and then this one kid right here has no concept of any of it but he understands the eye shape pattern in his first kata so, I mean, it's just, it was ridiculous, and it just becomes a money racket. That's what it is. Um, I got five. I've got five belts with my guys, and I test them once a year. The only thing that I do that comes close to that is so that people understand where they are and how they're doing, I give stripes, give four stripes, um, and it's a quarterly thing. If you have run through all the techniques, uh, one time you get a stripe, two times you get a stripe, three times you get a stripe, and the fourth time you get a stripe. But only after you've gone through all the techniques in your cycle for that year, only afterwards, four times, do you then get the chance to test. And even then, that doesn't mean you're going to be guaranteed the chance. It just means that you've gone through the techniques enough times that you should have understood it, that you should have become proficient at it. Um, and there's so many things that go with that, but I, I'm going to digress for a second. Um, excuse me. I just don't understand why why a lot of these places do it. Um, they'll they'll end up doing it again like a money racket, so that they can keep their students in a mindset where oh I'm gaining something, oh I'm doing something with myself. And kind of in that same way, I'll give them these stripes just to make sure that they understand that they are indeed progressing, they are indeed learning things. But to hand them a new belt every three months, and I do mean hand them a new belt, that is a serious lack of integrity for your system, a serious lack of integrity for your techniques, a serious lack of integrity for you as an instructor. And it blows my mind, and yet I see them. Um, you know, going back to the guy that I mentioned um, from West Virginia, he he would do this and he would say as justification, well, my guys are going to competitions and they're bringing back gold medals and this, that, and the other. Okay. All right. That, that's your justification, but your technique sucks. Why they're bringing back gold medals? I don't know. Um, maybe they're going in competitions where there's very little uh, competitors. Maybe they're going up against other people who just suck worse than they do. I have no idea. I wasn't there for those competitions. 
but to simply say, hey, they're going, they're getting old, therefore I'm doing it right, that, that doesn't mean a whole lot, man. Um, I seen a kid in there flailing and kicking, and he called it a front kick, and it was absolutely not a front kick. Um, granted, the child had been in his class for under six months. Okay, the technique was not perfect, it was not sound. But you as an instructor, and this is this is where a lot of my problem comes with it, you as the instructor, should be focusing on the key elements, breaking down the four parts of a technique, um, the four parts of each individual kick. Um, you should make sure that your students are knowledgeable, and if they are getting promoted, it's because they are truly showing progress. You're not just handing them a belt to keep the parents and themselves satisfied. No, that's watered down karate at best. That's my dojo life at its fullest. And it's just annoying. Um, have any of you seen things like this? Is it, am I just crazy? Um, you know, give me some of your thoughts. Comment, subscribe if you can, if you're interested. But definitely give me your comments. I want the feedback, positive, negative, and otherwise. Um, thank you for your time.